Welcome to a brand new series on Foot Talk with Sharan. This month, all Fridays, I have a very special guest and my dear friend Priyanka with me in my kitchen. Welcome Priyanka to Foot Talk with Sharan. Thank you so much Sharan for having me here. I believe I am the first guest in your brand new kitchen studio. Yes, you are. So, unlike other Fridays wherein I usually share short recipes with you, this month we are going to share with you kitchen organizing tips. Now Priyanka is a KonMari consultant and is an expert in tidying spaces and organizing spaces. So first of all, let's just try to understand what KonMari is. Uh, it refers to a Japanese philosophy of uh, decluttering and organizing your spaces. It became popular through the book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up written by Marie Kondo who is considered as a specialist worldwide in organizing. It deals with decluttering and tidying your entire space, your entire house in uh, a very streamlined manner and there are certain guidelines and processes which are uh, laid out uh, in the book. But here in this series we are going to be dealing specifically with kitchen organization tips. So Priyanka, you've been conducting workshops and you've had a couple of decluttering exercises that you've done with your clients. Now, what is one of the most asked questions when it comes to their kitchen space? I think a lot of questions with regard to pantry organization, storing those extra packets of things that you have in stock, uh, open packets of things, where do you store all that without it getting lost uh, and how to store them effectively. So, let's get on with uh, then that aspect first on how to organize your pantry items best. So let's sure. deal with that in the first episode that we have come up with you. Okay, here we are looking at a cabinet which has some grocery items on the upper shelf and some kitchen towels. So whether you have drawers or shelves, it's a good idea to containerize them within a basket within the shelf or the drawer. And a very important tip of the KonMari method is to store items vertically whenever possible. So it could be grocery items, it could be uh, kitchen towels, it could be snacks, anything uh, that can be stored upright. So here we've stored the items vertically in a basket and this makes it very easy easy to see what's available and you can easily pull out something without disturbing the other contents in the basket so this is the biggest advantage of storing in this manner we all tend to sometimes use this method which is dumping all the open packets in a big container while this is space saving it is it can be actually quite a pain to find what you're looking for and you may even forget about some of the items which are in here. So it is not just about making your cabinets look good, it's also about ease of use. So the same thing can be applied to kitchen cloths. Here you will see if I need to pull out something, uh, everything else gets disturbed and, fa uh, and falls over. I think Sharon has done the job of folding them <laughs> the KonMari way. This is called the KonMari style of folding and it is hugely popular to fold this way especially with clothes. We'll also leave a link to some of these products that Priyanka is showing us today. But in case you have any further queries, please do reach out to her on her Instagram page, Mindful Spaces by Priyanka. 